Okay, I'm gonna demo straight up. State board taper fade with all the blades. I'm gonna taper the sides, taper the back on both sides. So let's get started. My first demarcation line, I'm gonna start with the triple off blade. Right at the, kind of like the top, bottom of the earlobe. Start in the back. I like the, the V shape. Okay, next blade will be your one. And we're gonna put about a one inch demarcation line right above this little line. Almost like comb length. Like comb with the part. Okay, with a taper fade, how I teach, your fade shouldn't go no higher than the point and the top of the ear. So if you place your comb now, that's where your blend should be at, right up in there. In the back area, you wanna find this occipital bone, put two fingers right up under it, comb in the middle, your blend should go no higher than that. And the same on this side again, top of the ear and the point. Face, you go right up in there. So, we first started with a triple off or one. Next blade is a one and a half. As soon as that cutting blade crosses that line, you wanna flick out. corner of the notch, that top area to break that line up. See what you got? I always go with the grain and smooth down. Remember, using the corner of your blade takes our demarcation line. Using your full blade, put in demarcation line. Next, we're gonna go to the 1A blade, because that's the blade between the one and a half and the one. I'm just gonna notch. Don't go as high as you did with the one and a half, but high enough to work on that demarcation line. for smoothing, so it's not gonna hurt anything to go with the gun.
I also remember going with the grain keeps the hair dark. Going against the grain lightens the hair up. Okay, now we're gonna drop down to our masters again to work on this bottom demarcation line that was put in with the triple off. Start with the one, once again, open. It won't hurt anything, just don't go high until your one A zone or your one and a half zone. If you want to, use the corner just a notch to manipulate some dark spots. On the master, you can go up one notch. That's what I love about masters. It has five notches in it. To give you that gradual fade, you can use one notch at a time until that demarcation line is lightened up. Halfway on the masters is the OA. Just like using the OA blade. See that line is pretty much vanishing. The bottom demarcation line. One more notch. It's an extra notch between the OA and the triple off. Go to the triple off, and should take it out. Same thing for the back. Gonna walk down the blaze again. Triple off one. And use the one and a half. Once you cross that line, I'm gonna lighten it up. Anything above that line, I'm gonna notch it. Once again, using the corner of your blade takes our weight. And make sure that you're following how the hair grow. That's very important too as well. Come back with the grain, smooth it out. And you remember, triple off one, one and a half. We're missing the one A blade, which is between the one and the one and a half. So we're gonna start lighting this top demarcation line up. Once again, to take out demarcation lines, you wanna notch it. Always go with the grain to smooth it out. Now, sometimes that one A will take the line out, but if it do not, the same blade you use to put the demarcation line in with, it's the same blade you use to take the demarcation line out with. So you're gonna drop back down to your masters. Open up all the way, it's equivalent to a one blade. Once again, you put it in with the one full blade, you want to take it out by notching it. Now you can use the masters on his teeth, breaking it down. It's the same equipment to a one and a half. Now let's start lighting up that bottom demarcation line, which will go up one notch. And you can use your full blade if you have the, the eyesight to see the full blade lighten that line up without putting in another line. But if you don't have that skill yet, you can't go wrong with notching. It's like using a Erase on the pencil to erase your line on a sheet of paper. 
Throw it one more notch to the OA. You want to just stay on that bottom demarcation line. Sometimes the hair in the nape area be kind of tricky. So once again, the key is to watch how that hair grow. Once you see it vanishing, go up one more notch. It's the notch between the triple off and the OA. Pretty much gone. I'm a systematic guy, so I put it in with the triple off. I'm gonna go and go to that triple off and pretty much manipulate as much as I can what I see. So, rake it again with the one and a half. some areas here and now. One and a half. You can hear it. Once you cross that line, you want to flick out. And then to go above that line, start using your, your corner. Manipulating or breaking up that top line. The key is just to keep your eyes on that demarcation line. Don't get too excited to go too high. Then you'll chase that line all the way up to the parietal ridge. Now some clients like they, high, they tapers high, but you can't go wrong with these, this rule of thumb. Point, top of the ear. The client want it higher, you can always take it higher. One and a half, drop down to the 1A. Once again, instead of hair grows that way, I'm coming back the opposite way. Blade not doing nothing else. Let's go back down to your one. You want to skip blades going up the ladder. When you're going down the ladder blade, you want to hit every blade. And that's your one. Once again, I can rake it. It's like a one and a half on the teeth. Up one notch, bottom demarcation line. triple off. Ain't the triple off. You see certain stuff, you can always go back to your blades. Always go back to your biggest blade first. One and a half, you can't go wrong. Kind of like big blades on top, little blades in the middle, small blades at the bottom. Okay, now to fade the beard out, you just do the opposite. Start your big blades right up in here, right below the 
the earlobe. You want to drop down to your 1A. As you drop the blade down, you want to go higher, right above the earlobe. If you got to go low, you want to notch where that one and a half was. And you go to your masters. Masters open. You want to go lower. Notch that area. As you close the masters up, you kind of just just go a little bit by a little bit. Do the same on the other side. Kind of like just manipulating that, that, that thick hair, one and a half. Same right here with the beard. Start the one and a half. As you go up, you just drop blade for blade. Because each blade is designed to cut off that certain amount of hair. If you go lower, you want to notch in that area. Can't go wrong with this system. Straight to the point, basic and simple. You can always add other barber's techniques. It's just a basic guideline to basic general fade using the blades. Okay, now it's time for the edging. Once again, I always use rule of thumbs too. You wanna go past the eyebrow or the eyeball socket. If you don't know, you can put your comb there. If you can't see it, you can put your comb there as well. And you can tap it. On the sides, if you go down, you're kind of pushing the hair back. Let me give you an example. Well, you can get an edge like that. That's fine, but I like to edge up because the hair is growing this way. And so when you're edging toward the forehead, it's kind of popping the hair off. And I also know your pressure because the edge is going to cut regardless. So you can go back and forth, but you want to try to keep it natural as possible. Even on the sides, always comb the hair down, keep it low. Don't just go in real deep. Don't rake your client's hairline. Don't make them a new hairline, just Keep it natural as possible, man. And I always learn how to angle your edges, even on kids, because this T-blade kind of long, and sometimes that hairline be kind of short to the eyebrow, and you can cut the eyebrow off. I've seen a lot of my students do that, so I always learn how to angle your blade. Before you pull the ear back, I always wash the ear. Pull it back, fold it down. Do not be afraid to touch your client. You're gonna touch your clients more than a doctor. 
And you don't want to be no ear nicker. I don't want to nick that ear. It'll so hard to stop. Okay, same on this side. Always watch your pressure. My client is light skinned, so if I was very heavy handed, you'll probably see a lot of red moles on them. Always go turn your clipper upside down and go against the grain on the nape, because the nape air is very sensitive. Hold it here down. Once again, bevel it out. Use that angle. Pull the ear back. Can you see? Eyebrow, eyeball socket. Another trick, if you keep this edge of bevel with the hairline, get a 90 degree angle every time. Okay, once again, we're gonna arch toward the forehead. I'm gonna start on this edge in the front. I like kind of starting in the center, right over the bridge of his nose. You know, I want to make sure that you can see, because when you lean, the edge leans. So you make sure that you can touch your client, and you can pretty much stand up straight. I like starting in the center, then go left to right. I want to keep it low as possible, and natural as possible. A lot of barbers use different tricks like spritz and stuff like that to hold the hair. I'm old school, I just keep combing, keep tapping. Like I said, you keep a straight line, just using a little bit of your guideline from the last one, you can be pretty much on the money. And you keep that edge of bevel with that hairline, you almost guarantee the 90 degree cut every time. Just calm, even, bevel. And make sure that this corner of the blade gets in there. And you 90 degree angle it. Make sure this corner of that blade get in that corner to get that natural hard a nice point. Other side the same way. Keeping everything natural as possible. Excuse me a little bit. Guideline as we go. Keeping that hair, that hair calm down and tight.
on that blade, 90 degree. Once again, even with that comb or that hairline. It's all natural, no enhancement, no tricks, no nothing. Taper fade. You can go with the grain with a blade to smooth it all out. You just double check everything and what your teeth need to be fine tuned, you fine tune it. You can go over here just a half. Just a half line. Bulb of light using your shears. You can always come back and just hit the little scragglers. Stay boy, timber table. With the blades, no guards. <laughs> 